Invincible, a glorious tribute to Michael Jackson. It's an immersive multimedia spectacle featuring a cast of professional musicians, vocalists, dancers, and choreography by longtime Michael Jackson choreographer and dancer Lavelle Smith Jr. And it's all coming to the Miller Theater. That's right. We got the chance to speak with the show's creator and producer, Darren Ross. Take a look. We are with Darren Ross, Bessie Award winner. He is the creator, producer, and director of the show that is Invincible. It is a glorious tribute to Michael Jackson. Thanks for joining us here, Darren. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. We got to ask, we always do this. Tell us how this tribute began. How did this start for this? Circa 1984. I don't want to give away my age. <laughs> I went to the Jackson's Victory Tour concert in Philadelphia, which is my hometown. Uh, and I saw something I've never seen before. We were all enthralled with Michael from his Motown 25th performance. But to see that live on stage blew me away. And I remember that all my life. I'm a music producer, stage producer. So, you know, one of the things our barometer was always, you have to make it as good as Thriller. It has to be as good as that album. You know, and I always wanted to work with Michael Jackson, but I never had the chance to. Right. So upon his passing... I said, you know what, I'm going to create a show that brings back those thrills and chills that I felt seeing him and his brothers live at Veterans Stadium. And I want to make people feel that magic and recreate the videos in ways that no one has ever seen done before. So, I, you know, of course, I did my research. I found out who was available. I got Mr. Lavelle Smith Jr., who was the dancer alongside Mike. Jackson for mm -hmm. over 23 years. He was also the choreographer of Scream and a lot of other videos goes that Michael did. Uh, I got him to join the cast as creative consultant and choreographer. So he was our historian. And what he did was, uh, you know, Darren, you can't do this this way. And I even wanted to recreate bad in one way. Let me just tell you this. I was so far out there. I was right. like, you know what? Michael and Prince never got together. I want to bring them together on stage. And Lavelle, you know, put me in my place and said, you know, and you have your Prince fan, you have your Michael fan, yeah. but let's keep them apart. So <laughs> the two, we got the two together, we hammered it out. Yeah, we hammered it out. This show is up. Just trust me, Augusta, one night only, September 23rd. Now, Invincible is the only Michael Jackson tribute that is endorsed by the Jackson family patriarch, Joe Jackson. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Tell us how that, that came about. That is well, Joe saw the performance, and he actually saw a few performances. And he approached me and said, Darren, I want to take this all over the world. I think this is the number one MJ tribute show I've ever seen. I didn't think anybody could do something with, that would make me feel like I'm seeing Michael back on stage. So then Joe came aboard, and he started endorsing the show, along with booking shows in and out the country for us prior to his passing. And actually, when he, when he did pass, we were getting ready to go to Brazil and a bunch of other places that Joe was setting up. Of course, after that happened, you know, things changed. But Joe, for years, was our ambassador. Uh, he labeled the show the number one MJ tribute show in the world. Um, well, he should and know. He just, yeah, of course. He started. He said, I've, I've never seen anything like this. Uh, so, like I said, we're here. We're going to be in Augusta, Georgia on September 23rd to bring the magic and the spirit and essence of seeing Michael Jackson live again on stage like you will hear him, see him, and feel him. Do we need to say even more? I don't think so. Oh, God. I don't I, think so. Yeah. <laughs> I wish today was yeah, where's September Tito? 23rd. Like, where's Tito? Yeah. <laughs> I wish no. today was the 23rd because I want to go. And you mentioned Brazil here. I'm from Brazil. <laughs> so, oh, great, so, great, great, great. You, know, tra you say traveling all over the world. The, the mm. fans are definitely diehard. What's that experience like seeing a Jackson fan catch this show for the very first time? Uh, Jaw-dropping, people crying, because it's something magical about the show. It has an anointing and a blessing. Uh, you will feel like you're, you're feeling his spirit and his magic. And I cannot describe it. I'm a biggest fan, so, you know, I get to see it every night. But... This is one of those shows that you're not just going to be enthralled. You're going to leave with a feeling and a blessing that you really get to understand the legacy of Michael Jackson. Michael. It's right. a fun, filled family show. Like I said, we go from zero to a thousand. 
before the end. All right, get those tickets. They are yes. going fast. Uh, mm -hmm. September 23rd. Run doors. down to the box office. Exactly. Yes. Miller yes. Theater, yes. doors at 7, show is at 8. Uh, glorious. Uh, it's going to be absolutely, be sure you check that out. <laughs> Darren, thanks so much for joining us here Thank today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Have a great day. You know, if Joe Jackson says it's the number one Michael Jackson tribute, well, Joe should know. <laughs>